What is happening, my film friends? Welcome to the Film Junkie Quick Fix. That's right, you're going to shoot up some film news, you're going to feel it course through your veins, and you're going to just sit back and just be in awe at the movie news I'm going to give you. Okay? So let's get started. Batman versus Superman. All right, guys, uh, I got some more info here. Hey, I'm on top of this crap, man. And this has to do with Mr. Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. Just what the fuck is this guy going to look like? Is he going to have the bald head? Apparently not. That's right. Apparently, Mr. Jesse Eisenberg is not going to have the bald head, okay? According to this source right here, okay, we got Eisenberg has a lot of hair. It's not the Eisenberg's typical curly look, okay? It's a bit longer, kind of loose and wavy, and it's dirty blonde, okay? Not to mention, well, I mean, this is very much Eisenberg. This Luthor is going to have mannerisms that make him seem like he's been downing Red Bull all day. So he's going to be kind of jittery, okay? Now... This is because of scenes that have been shot already that are supposedly going to be at the beginning of the movie. This does not mean we will not see a bald Jesse Eisenberg, okay? Don't snap to conclusions because, like I said, this movie is taking place two years after the events of Man of Steel, but you gotta wonder, you know, when they say, like, Lex Corp's a startup um, company, you know, everybody's saying that, but it's like, wait a minute, I remember seeing, like, trucks and skyscrapers that say Lex Corp. How's that a startup company? Maybe this will be pre-Lex Luthor when he's just kind of... I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen, but apparently that's the inside scoop when it comes to Jesse Eisenberg's look as Lex Luthor. He is going to have hair, and I know a lot of you are probably going, Ugh, which, yeah, I know, we got to see that bald head, and I'm sure it's going to be there, guys. Like I said, these are just the first scenes that have been shot, and these are most likely going to be at the beginning of the movie. So we're going to see some hair on the guy. Maybe they'll work it in somehow why he has the bald head, but uh, let me know what you think about that. It's it's definitely interesting. I'm curious to see. I'm still excited about it. You know, hey, it's a fresh take. Let's talk about it. Well, leave me a comment down below. Then we go over to the Avengers side, and there is a video out there. I don't know if I have it. Hopefully I do, and hopefully I can put it down there for you. A little behind the scenes of Avengers 2, Avengers Age of Ultron. Very random scene. It was shot from way back. You see a bunch of crap. They're in a field, and you got Thor, you got Captain America, and you got Tony Stark. Awesome shit. And for some reason, as they're walking, Thor just lifts his hammer up and summons some lightning. It looks really cheesy and funny when you see it filmed because he does it, and all you see is flickering lights like you're at some, you know, fucking haunted house shit thing, you know? But, but, you know, that's just what I love about seeing it. I love seeing the behind-the-footage shit, and then you see the final product and go, Wow, when I saw that before, it looked like complete ass. Now it looks fantastic. It's amazing how they can just transform something like that into something beautiful. So hopefully I can find that video and have it down below because I didn't post it on my site. I meant to, but, you know, it, it, it happens, folks. Hey, check it out! It's Edward Mega Swiss Army Knife Shredder Hands! Yeah, what? Is, what is that? Is that Jaeger sh Shredder? I mean, what? Okay, guys. Um, yes, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie has seen a lot of backlash. Okay, but some of us still remain optimistic, and we still had some hope. But let's face facts: they completely fucked up Shredder. Okay, and this is just it's totally you know, final nail in the coffin with this image right here. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't look badass it kind of does looks kind of menacing but what the fuck that's shredder in a big ass robotic suit about to take on splinter okay first off how can a guy even wear something like that and second off how can someone fight someone someone wearing that with a fucking sword no that's just not gonna happen so this is what this is what this is what i think this uh image is telling me right now okay we're gonna see mr old balls white dude William Fitchner crawl into this robotic armor robotic Jesus Christ robotic armor very Tony Stark Iron Man like manner Tom Cruise and Edge of Tomorrow Jaeger costume shredder armor he's gonna climb in it and of course he's gonna be fully CGI which is a given because nobody can maneuver in a fucking suit like that and then we're probably gonna get like close-ups like very Tony Stark Iron Man you know when you see the close-up in the suit we're gonna get close-ups of Mr. Fitchner 
saying stupid dialogue and shit like that and like pretending to move like you see a cut of him going and then you see him swinging him oh god Ugh. <laughs> I mean, I still kind of have hope that the turtles will be cool and some of that action will be cool, but they have completely fucked up Shredder. I don't even care about Shredder in this movie. I mean, it's just, it's gotten pretty bad, but I'm still remaining optimistic about the rest of the movie. Hopefully the, you know, the, the dialogue's funny. Hopefully the action with the turtles is good. So hopefully the camaraderie between uh, April O'Neil and the turtles is great. So I guess we'll see what happens, folks. Oh, man. And to wrap up the show, just check out this image real quick. Whoa, what is that? Some kind of shadow of some fucking dinosaur. That's right, this has been teased. That there's a new dinosaur that we'll see in Jurassic World. Of course, the fourth Jurassic Park. Um, This was tweeted out today by... I can't seem to know who. Um, Let's see here. Who is it? Yeah, director Colin Trevorrow. I guess he tweeted this out. So that's going to be interesting. I'm actually looking forward to uh, the new Jurassic uh, World. Uh, Chris Pratt. Can't go wrong with Chris Pratt and some other people in there too. Not uh, Bryce Dallas Howard. She's pretty known. She's uh, obviously um, um, Ron Howard's little girl. And uh, she's a pretty good actress. So I guess we'll see. But let me know what you think about that as well as everything else I talked about down below in the balls area. And please hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Ready and uh Visit FilmJunkie.com for your latest in um, movie news, trailers, and film reviews. Sorry, guys. Got a little distracted by something that just popped up on my screen. But anyways, I am David, the Film Junkie, and I brought you your junkie quick fix. It's not quick. I already know. It's a long time. Anyways, guys, talk to you later.